What's up? This is Tony from Municipal Waste, and you're watching The Age of Metal. Cheers. Hey, Doc, I got this fever, I can shake. At first I thought it's something that I hate. It kind of seems like my eyes are seeing red. It's really up for me to leave my bed. Skin feeling that my head is going dead. Hey, this is Jackie with The Age of Metal, and here we are at Rocky Point Cantina, and I'm here with Tony from Municipal Waste. How are you? Good. How you doing? I'm good, thank you. So you guys are on tour right now with Napalm Death and Exhumed. How's the tour been going so far? Uh, really good. We're, we're past the halfway point yesterday, and it's been going by really fast. Like, I think it's has a lot to do with, like, the revolving cast of characters with all the opening bands, and uh, it's just been really fun. Nobody's sick of anybody, everybody's getting along, having a good time, the show's been great, and uh, all the bands are, are really fucking good, so yeah, it's, we're, we're really happy, I couldn't be happier, it's one of my favorite tours I've been on. Really? Well, that's awesome to hear for yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. So, The Fatal Feast has been out about since last April, well, this past April, and um, how far, so far do you think the album's been going really well? I think it, I think it did good. Uh, from what I hear, it sold good. Um, the crowd knows all the words to the new songs when we play them. Like, we get a good response when we play stuff. And we play, we've been playing some weird songs that are just on the album that we didn't do videos for, or didn't like, didn't do singles for, or anything like that. We've just been pulling stuff out, and people know those, and and it's getting a good response. So, I think people like the new album, which is is great. It's good news for us, you know. So this was the first album you guys have done with Nuclear Blast. Um, do you guys feel that they did a really good job promoting the album and are really happy with the way things are going with the label right now? Yeah, I, I couldn't be happier. I love the people we work with and everybody gets along really well. And uh, yeah, they're, it's a it's a really cool experience to be on a new label like that and, and how positive they are with everything we're doing. Do you feel that your fan base and exposure because you're signed on to a bigger label is kind of gotten a little bit more lately um it's it seems like it's the same crowd you know um but they definitely just work harder at like getting our shit places that we don't even know about you know and uh yeah it's cool that, that's a cool thing about just working with different people because they just put your music in different places too and it just gets it out to a new audience so um it seems like it's the same we still have the same core but the band has never stopped growing like the, the whole time we've been together it's never leveled off it's always been this extremely slow increase like it's it's weird and uh we're really lucky for that it's just so slow though it's like gradually in the records too they, they steadily sell they never just drop off people just are always buying it so i guess that's a good thing you know mm -hmm. like it, i guess it means we're doing something good <laughs> So you guys did release uh, three music videos for um, three singles off the album. How did you come up with the concept? Because after watching them, they're actually really silly and funny, and one of them is animated. One of the, most of the time, the animated one was just kind of presented to us. It was these kids that we uh, kind of knew in France, and I liked what they did with uh, our friends. Our friends Reproach did an animated video that was similar to that, and I liked what they did with that. And uh, they also did a video for a band called Frenzel Romp. They're like a pop punk band from Australia. But anyway, I just was really into their art and uh, just kind of hit them up. and was like, hey, you guys should do something. And then like they were really excited about the idea. And then they just went nuts with it. So it just depends. I mean, the band has a certain thing to it that people can, can react to and get creative with. So we're a pretty easy band to do a video for. We just... Just do either a theme from the song or just come up with something ridiculous that we could pull off. <laughs> so you guys had like a lot of input in the ones that you guys actually starred in? Oh, the ones that we had, yeah. The, the one that we've had the least input was the animated one, but the, the other ones we most mostly write and came up with the idea. Jeff Speed, uh, the Sadistic Magician video and the Fatal Feast video, we kind of just gave him a storyline and then he went with it. And he did. He does such a good job that we just kind of let him go. So yeah, most, mostly it just depends which video it is. Each one's a different piece. A lot of the Dave Brodsky ones we write, and then then he kind of just he like likes to just go with us and improvise shit. That's his style, and it, and it works. Like I love his shit too. Yeah, well they're really funny, and people should really check those out. I mean, when Thanks. you guys are like ripping out the guts and eating them, and you're in outer space. 
pretty random, but still really funny to watch. Yeah, that was cool. We filmed that on the set of Firefly, which is people, a lot of people don't know that. Oh, that's cool. It's that TV show. Awesome. You know, you love that shit. Guys, <laughs> we Buffy, you know what's up. Buffy fans. Angel. Angel. <laughs> Going back to the 90s. <laughs> so, um. Charm. <laughs> Charm. Wow. <laughs> Did he get charmed? Wow. All that good <laughs> So, um, you guys also did release an EP with Toxic Holocaust. It was a split EP. How did you guys come up with that idea of splitting it? And also, um, how do you pair up with them to work on that pro? Uh, that's funny. That that was a. We actually. Uh, Joel's with us right now. He looks good. For a second. Like we're checking out our friend's butt here to make sure we. It's it's, it's good. You look very nice, by the way. See you later, <laughs> See you later bro. Um. We hooked up with Toxic Holocaust. Um, and we were ju- me and Joel were just talking about this. Joel's actually with us tonight. We're, we're going to do a Toxic Holocaust song. Really? Yes, yeah, so we can tell you because you're not going to. Yeah, this see won't this be released until after. for a couple days. But uh, yeah, so we kidnapped him from LA, so he's with us right now. He seriously woke up and he's like, "I'm in fucking Arizona right now." <laughs> so you like, didn't what pack up? or anything? You just no, no. I, 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 we got, gave him a toothbrush and we're like, "All right, you're with us." So he's going to ride with us to Nashville and we're flying him home. Wow. From uh, and we're going to do a Toxic Holocaust song. Every night. Um, so anyway, but we, we were talking about it uh, when we were in when we first met. Not yeah, one of the first times we met and actually hung out. Um, we talked about it, and this was like this is 2005, and we were said yeah we should do a split. So that was how many years ago? And every time we saw each other, we talked about it, and we seven. always mention it. Yeah, seven years ago. So um, we talked about it, and it finally came came true. So yeah. You know. That's really cool that, that uh, two thrash bands can kind of collaborate and put something yeah, out we, there. I mean, we've toured with them so much. We've been friends with us. And t- to us, that's a no-brainer, you know? Like, we just we just like doing shit with our friends and keep, keep it a tight group of family, you know? Yeah. I mean, I know you only did this right now, but do you think maybe in the future some an, another project with another band like that would interest you? We already you? have shit in the works. Oh, yeah. okay. we got a couple things that are, that are in the works. Awesome. Can't tell you right now, but oh, no secrets. No, nah. <laughs> not yet. Because <laughs> we gotta get our shit together. It's on our end now. We 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 uh we've been touring so much that we're actually behind in, in stuff that we need to write. Not a lot, but we got a couple of cool projects in mind for, to record. Awesome. So, yeah, not doing an album anytime soon. I think there's been a couple of rumors flying around that we're working on a new album, which we've been seriously. I think we played over 200 shows this year, so that is not happening anytime soon. <laughs> when I go home, I'm going home. I'm going to chill for a while. Going to catch up on wa- some sleep. I'm going to watch football. I'm going to sleep. I'm going to drink. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to try to fix my, my house, my fucked up house. <laughs> um, so do you think right now that Thrash is kind of making a comeback as far as there's more younger kids at your show rather than the older generation who's typically into that uh, type of music? No, um, there's another thing we were talking about today, what we talked about earlier today, me and our manager and the promoter were in a little conversation about the show and we were like talking about how the 21 year old, how the 21 year old people have to be in the back and the younger people in the front. And we were like, well, how's that going to work? Like, and then we're trying to figure out, and it's really all, like figure out who would more, what the percentages would be of how many old people and there's like how many like, you know, all ages like kids would be there as far well as like just drinkers and it's uh it's really all across the board. It's it's just, I mean, there's. Our our band attracts people of all ages, and I think that's I think that's one of the best things about our band is that people from all walks of life and all ages like can get into our music and they relate to it. So yeah, it's it's really you know yeah we're, we're stoked. It's it's an honor to be like that. Yeah, that's awesome to see the scenes kind of coming you know getting bigger again and younger kids are being exposed to that type of music. Yeah, I'm way into that, and I like turning old dudes on into into younger bands, you know? Mm-hmm. I just said I like turning old dudes on. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't gay at all. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> so, um, 
thrash pits are really insane. Um, <laughs> what would you say is the craziest thing you've seen as the pit as far as what state, maybe on this tour or even past tours? Yeah, I get asked that question a lot. That's kind of like how we get asked that a lot. So I'll tell you what we've seen on this tour so far. That was cool. The House of Blues shit. Um, we, the, the night, night before last, we played in L.A. And somebody climbed up the PA rig. And, and this is in the House of Blues. This isn't like some little thing. I, I still haven't seen this. Apparently it's on YouTube. But climbs up the rig and jo- dove off, like off the second story. Really? And uh, did not get caught. <laughs> oh my and God. apparently walked away from it. This is what we heard. We actually, it was right at the end of our set. And we actually were like... That dude make it? Is he okay? <laughs> you know, I, di- I didn't see it. Ryan saw it. He was like, it was fucking crazy. So yeah, people go for it, and it's it's cool for us because we get we're getting as entertained as they they are. Hopefully, we want that. You know, we want to get entertained too. So we like, you know, we're watching the crowd. And, You're and encouraging. I, yeah, yeah, and I see. And it's fun to watch the craziness that goes on. Uh, not a lot of fights. We don't. We're not into that. So I've seen a couple. But like on this tour, but that that's just is gonna happen. Like you play an LA show, there's gonna be a fight. You know, that's just how it goes. <laughs> but you know, like it's definitely not like the old days where people were getting stabbed all over the place, <laughs> stabbed at every show. And stuff. <laughs> but, yeah, that's not a good time. No, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> so, um, are there any bands right now that you would like to take on tour with you with your next tours coming up in the future? That we would bring. Yeah. Um. I like this band, Power Trip. I've been been name dropping them a lot lately. Power Trip's a really good band that uh, put out a couple EPs and they're doing an LP. Um, I like them. I like this band, Deep Sleep, a lot. Um, I'd love to tour with Midnight. Jamie's the man. Uh, we have a, a couple things in the works that we're talking about next year that we're gonna bring out, but it's not like no, it's it'll just be we gotta sit on that, but. <laughs> Thank Sorry, you. I can't. I can't. You're, you're it might not happen. Oh, I don't want to say something that's not going to happen, and then then I'm a liar. So, I just, yeah, we got some cool shit oh. in the works. <laughs> so, <laughs> so um, as far as your fan base in the U.S., other than here, uh, what other country would you say you have like a really big following? Um, England has always been really good for us. Um, Finland has been super cool lately. Like, uh, the past couple times we played, it's been just out of control. It's, like, super fun. Um, it's, it really, I mean, it's starting to get to the point now where it's just, like, everywhere we go is, like, really good. So mm-hmm. the, I, I, I would say I, I really like playing England. I want to go back to Australia, though. That's, like, we haven't done that. We haven't done that in seven or eight years which is crazy to me um that was one of my favorite tours i've ever did was was australia i look back at that very fondly is it because you had like a lot of crowd like a lot of crowd there or i i just the positivity of it everybody there was extremely positive i mean for and the shows were great um especially for us at the time we weren't known really and uh just the people and the positivity and just the way things were down there it was it was really cool to be on the other side of the world and, and uh, just run into that many people that are there to have a good time, you know? <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. All over the place, not even just, like, at the shows, just people in general. Like, I just really liked it. That's cool. Well, hopefully you guys will get to go back soon then. Yeah, we want to. We're trying, you know. We're so busy, though. It's crazy. It's like, yeah, it's not. It's a good thing. Good thing to, good thing to be, I guess, if you're in a band. Yeah. <laughs> So what's next for uh, Municipal Waste? Um, home. We're going home after this. And before that, the what, the next thing for Municipal Waste, I would say right now, is the Barge to Hell cruise. That's what we've been talking about a lot in this bus, that uh, we're going to probably drown there. I don't want to say that, knock on wood. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it's going to be, that thing's going to be crazy. It's like Sepultura, Mayhem, At the Gates. Um Napalm Death and a million other bands on a cruise ship for four days in the Bahamas. That's the last show of the tour. We played two shows on the boat. I'm gonna wear. I'm trying to find Hawaiian shirts and it's like I'm gonna get a big like sombrero and a Hawaiian shirt, big glasses, and I got these. I already got my Rasta flip flops. <laughs> I'm ready. 
That's that's what's next for Municipal Way. So we're gonna go to that fucking thing and chill. Then we're gonna go home and hang out and write some songs, write a couple jams, and then you know, see what's up for next year. You know, we've had a busy year, so you know, right now just thinking about taking it, taking chilling out for a little bit. You know, but yeah, next year uh, it should be should be a good one too. Awesome. Well, that's really great to hear, and I hope you guys have fun on the cruise ship, and good luck with the rest of the tour. Right on. Thank you very much. Thanks for supporting us.